In this video, we'll be introducing the cash flow statement. The cash flow statement is great because it is precisely that, a statement of cash flows. It starts with net income and shows how changes in balance sheet accounts affect cash. This calculation is broken down into three categories of cash flows. The first being cash flow from operating activities. These are the cash flows that relate directly to revenues and expenses reported on the income statement. You can think of this as cash receipts from sale of goods or services, the purchase of raw materials, payments to suppliers for goods or services, and payments to employees. Next, you have cash flow from investing activities, which relate to the purchase or sale of long-term assets, investment in securities, and payments related to M&A activity. And finally, you have cash flow from financing activities, which includes all cash flows with creditors, which you could think of as a bank, and stockholders. To provide some context, this could include proceeds from raising or issuing debt, repayment of debt principal, and dividends to stockholders. In its most concise format, this is the cash flow statement. And on this concise template, you can see how it is made up of cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from investing activities, and cash flow from financing activities. The first item listed on your cash flow statement is net income. In your financial model, this will pull directly from the income statement. And what you're doing as you work towards your cash balance is converting the economic activity of the company from accrual accounting, which shows the outcome as net income, to reflect the outcome on a cash basis. To work towards this cash balance calculation, starting with net income, you will then add back non-cash items. And here we have depreciation and amortization listed because they are good examples of non-cash items. Next, we will make adjustments for changes in working capital. And to provide a brief description of working capital accounts, these reflect amounts that are to be paid or received in less than a year and the inventory of materials and products. In this video, we will be focusing on three working capital accounts, accounts receivable, inventory, and accounts payable. Under cash flow from investing activities, you will find capital expenditures. Capital expenditures include the purchase of long-term assets or property, plant, and equipment. And having introduced capital expenditures, we can look at an example that demonstrates how we go from accrual accounting to a cash outcome. So let's revisit the example where we purchase a crane in period one for $5 million. On your income statement, the crane would be depreciated over the five periods to reflect its useful life. But here the $1 million in period one does not reflect a cash outflow. So on your cash flow statement, you're adjusting net income to show the net effect on cash. To do that, under cash flow from operating activities, you would add back non-cash items or depreciation in each period. And then under cash flow from investing activities, you would subtract $5 million to reflect the capital expenditure. And that is how you would accurately represent the purchase of the crane on your cash flow statement. So why is this information important? Well, as the saying goes, cash is king. Knowing your cash balance and your ability to generate cash help to make important decisions surrounding working capital like the purchase of raw materials or to purchase other assets used in the production of goods and services. And of course, a company's cash or liquidity is very important in managing its liabilities. Going back to our template, I want to talk a little bit about how the cash flow statement works in a financial model. Once you've calculated your cash balance on a fully integrated financial statement model, you will link that sum to your balance sheet above. In this way, the cash flow statement grows the asset side of your balance sheet in each consecutive accounting period. And if you recall from our previous videos, retained earnings on the income statement grows the equity account by the amount of income generated in each accounting period. So to better visualize these two relationships simultaneously, we can visit our fully integrated financial statement model to show that cash on your balance sheet is growing by the cash balance calculated on the cash flow statement below. And that retained earnings is growing by net income in each accounting period. And recall that the balance sheet is just a formal presentation of the accounting equation, which you see here, with assets equal to liabilities plus stockholders' equity. If the cash flow statement grows the left-hand side of this equation, or assets, by the company's cash balance, and the income statement grows the right-hand side of this equation, or stockholders' equity, by net income, then the cash flow statement, which starts with net income, is making adjustments so that this equation holds true. And that relationship is how the accounting equation is balanced in financial models, and therefore how your balance sheet is balanced in financial models. 
If all of the accounts on your balance sheet had the same value in each period, then the cash impact would be zero. And to demonstrate that, we can go back to our old example and straight line the values or hold them constant. And here you'll see that your cash impact is indeed zero. What this means is that in any example where all items on your balance sheet are constant, net income and net cash flow would have the same value. In the video that follows this one, I will demonstrate this on a fully integrated financial statement model. But before we move on, I want to highlight a few concepts and relationships. First, that there are three cash flow categories. Cash flow from operating activities, cash flow from investing activities, and cash flow from financing activities. Next, it's important to keep in mind that the cash flow statement starts with net income and adjusts for non-cash items working capital, investment, and financing activity to arrive at the company's cash balance. And finally, that financial models are balanced by the cash flow statement. Retained earnings, an account on the balance sheet, grows stockholders' equity by net income. The cash flow statement starts with net income and adjusts this sum to account for every other change to balance sheet accounts to arrive at the company's cash balance. In this way, cash acts as a plug in financial models to maintain the accounting equation. And for the time being, that's as much cash flow statement knowledge as you require. Maybe even too much.